What's up, everybody? Sorry about the delay there. Um, ran into some driver issues. Hold on, let me just... Ran into some driver issues. So I'm just trying to fix that right now. Or that's already been fixed, so now I'm just loading up Substance Painter 2018. Um, I think I got everything up and running here. Dashboards, everything looks good. Get a bunch of things open here. There we go. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go. Let's start this. Okay, so um, my Steam is showing me my frames, so I'm just going to get rid of that. That's from me playing like PUBG or whatever and trying to figure out my f what my frames were so let me just quickly get rid of that um, where is that interface I think it should be in my settings somewhere in game um, display nope top left there it is turn off um, let's see it's still displaying it let me just get rid of let me just close it and just reopen it and see if it's still there. Uh, I don't know if it's launching or not. There we go. Okay. There we go. Now I get get rid of the FPS counter. It's a little bit annoying. Um cool. Is there a way for me to set myself to busy or something so that people can't, um, busy, there we go. Okay, so let's uh, start a brand new project here. Um, we're gonna go PBR, Metal Rough, um, Algorithmic, sounds good. Let's go with, um, now I just realized something. I realized that these, for me to see all three of these things, I would need to actually do I need to combine them? I just realized that I have to, I might have to actually combine these together. Never, never thought about this actually. Um, it's, wow, it's been this long since I've um, since I've done something uh, in Substance Painter. Um, yeah, I guess I would I would have to. Um, import them. So, all right, cool. Uh, let's go to Blender. Let's load up Blender and let's combine these, um, and then uh, call it a different. All right, let's see here. It's been a really long time since I've used a tablet inside one of these programs. So, um, so let's just do something like. Do I have snapping on? Let's turn off snapping. Don't want snapping. Do I want these to be? Mm. I'm trying to think here. Like, do I want these to be in the same spot? It's gonna get really annoying, um, especially. No, you know what? Leave it. Let's leave it. I'm just gonna leave it for now. Okay, so let's just go new. Um, PBR male roughness. I'm gonna select. Um, Oh my god, what am I doing? Um, super NES. Let's go to meshes. Um, let's go to the body. Um, OpenGL or DirectX? I can't remember now. What is uh, uh, Marmoset? Marmoset. What is Marmoset? Marmoset is OpenGL? Too big. Is it OpenGL or Direct? Wait, hold on. Does Marmoset? 
I was just checking to see if Marmoset um, have its own uh, template, but I don't think it does. Victory. Um. I think it's OpenGL. I think it's OpenGL. Okay. Um, let's go to let's go two K maps for now. Um, import mesh normal maps. Uh, the materials. No, nope, I think we're good here. Sorry, I thought that was something else. Um. All right. So here we go. Let's go to. Uh, let's go to. Holy cow! This is I'm so rusty here. Um. Was it F1? Oh, there we go. There, F1, F2, F3. I'm trying to get my bearings back. It's been a while since I've used Substance Painter. Um. I've also noticed that there's a lot of normal problems in these. I think I might want to go check those out first in in um, Blender actually, because right now there's definitely some some normal problems going on. Uh, so just give me one second here. The GL. GL. Let's go open recent. Okay, so let's um. Let's go back here. I'm just going to go tab. Um, this is weird. Uh, I typically don't model um, with a tablet, so. I'm just a lot more accurate with a, with a mouse. That's all, honestly. Um, uh, let's go to here. Let's go to no seams. Let's just look at sharp. And let's take a look at these here. I'm just going to um, control E, uh, clear sharp. We'll do the same here as well. Control E, clear sharp. Hopefully that fixes a bunch of these issues that I'm noticing here. Control E, clear sharp. Okay, let's see how that looks. It's still causing a little bit of issues um, with the normals, but I actually don't think that that solved anything, um, to be honest. Um, uh, let's just go edges. I'm just gonna select all the edges. I'm going to select all these edges here. Um, Let's go to mesh and let's go to edge. Let's go to control E. Uh, mesh. Let's take a look at the edges here. Or faces. Make edge face. No. Nope. I just want to recalculate the normals, see if that helps anything. It didn't seem to have helped. Um, okay, well, I tried. That didn't do anything, unfortunately. So we'll leave it for now. And we'll just start focusing on um, on this here. So first and foremost, uh, let me just open up some reference here uh, for myself. Um, I picked up a lot of uh, references for... Um, So hold on here. So this is uh, pure ref. Oh my god. There's no sc wheel scroll, unfortunately. Um, okay, so yeah, this is gonna be hard to use. So there's a bunch of images here that I picked up. Hold on. So let me um, 
me see here. I'm just going to add a bunch of these um, images into... Uh, crap, I accidentally... This is why I like... Okay, so I added a bunch of dirty images here. Um, going to drag this over onto the side. All right. Okay, so let's see here. Um, so right away, it's using like a plastic. So I'm just going to quickly kind of um, see if I can throw on a basic uh, plastic here. And hopefully that, hopefully that kind of works out well um, so let's see um, so see if we can quickly plastic um, plastic fabric no plastic what's this one here plastic diamond no plastic mat might be a good one Okay, hold on. I'm just going to use plastic map pier grid. Okay, so I might use this one here. I'm just going to throw into one of the layers. Um, add a black mask. Uh, and then I'm going to add a paint inside there. And uh, we're going to... Uh, was it fill? Polyfill? Uh, physical paint? What's physical paint? I wanna just polyfill. What's this? Poly polygon fill. There we go. Okay. Okay. So this is bugging me. I need to reverse the wheel. Um, keyboard helpers inverse zoom. Nope. That didn't do it. There we go. The way that I zoom, I want it to zoom um, like it does in Maya. Uh, so that's important. All right, so let's uh, quickly do a polygon fill here. Um, mesh fill. Okay, so we want to get all this stuff in here. Um, obviously... Let me just quickly take a look at my reference again. Yep, so this would be in there as well. Obviously, this is not supposed to be blue. So I can easily go here to my paint, change the base color. Um, I'm going to pick from... So I'm just dragging it onto an image that I have um, over onto my other reference screen here. So I'm just gonna drag it in. So I'm just gonna go with something along these lines, something like that. Okay. Um, and then, so this is, um, I'm gonna call this like base plastic kind of thing. All right. Um, I'm gonna delete this layer. And then I'm gonna add another um, layer on top. And this is gonna be the uh, switch plastic. Right, uh, I'm gonna add mask here. I'm gonna add a paint layer, um, and then in here, I'm going to uh, polygon fill again. I'm just gonna fill these in, and this time I'm gonna change the color on this to a purple. So I'm just gonna grab a purple from one of these images here. There we go. All right, so already. That's going to start looking a lot better. Um, I'm noticing that there's some clipping that's going on. 
So I gotta be careful with that. Um, I'm also gonna change my viewport so that it's like this, so you can see a little bit more of it. I also realized that we're gonna need, um, we're gonna need another material, uh, which is gonna be emissive. So we're gonna go and add that in. Um, if I can remember how to, this is the new UI. So let me just quickly see here. I think it's here. Let's add in an emissive, emissive layer. There we go. Perfect. Uh, a little bit layers. All right. Um, So we got our kind of our base here, um, and then we're gonna have to obviously add in um, some dirt and all that stuff, right? So we gotta bake some some textures as well. Um, I noticed that this is so. Let's go bake some textures to get this to look a little bit better. Um, so this is gonna be at the one thousand. It should be okay. Uh, normal map, world space, ID. Don't need ambient occlusion. It'll be nice to have thickness. Sure. Um, we're gonna use a low poly mesh as a high poly because we don't have a high poly mesh. And um, max and rear should be okay. And uh, yeah, this should be good. Let's let's bake this out. I also realized that uh, my naming convention is not very, not very good. So I probably should fix that at some point. Okay, so now if I go to um, got some of that stuff going on here. Cool. So let's go back to our layers and um, we'll add some like grime and stuff like that into our. I also realized that there is, uh, this is a different color. So I'm just going to add another material. Again, I'm just going to use um, the plastic mat here. Uh, I'm going to continue. I'm going to add a black mask, uh, add a paint, and we're going to go to fill again. I'm just going to. So I'm noticing this is giving me a hard time because I think this is actually one mesh. So I'm just going to uh, select by faces. Or is this UVs? UV chunk. So just select by UV chunk. Uh, there we go. Um, and this is a lot darker. Or not a lot darker, but it's darker. Something like that. Um, I can just uh, eye drop picker something if I don't like that one. I can just eye into my reference here. And I'm just going to. I'm just gonna pick something like that. There. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm just gonna save this for now. Um, SNES, let's go to. Um, let's go painter. Let's make a painter folder. And then we're gonna call this um, SNES console. Right. Noticing all that stuff there. Um, now, what I'm not liking is uh, let me see how easy it is for me to um, change the Lambert material and what it's named. Um, what if I just call this like SNES console or something? Right. What if I called that? Right, and then let me just call. Um, so that's this one. Let's call this one SNES 
cartridge. Right. Rename this so it's lowercase as well. Um, SNES controller. Okay, and let's just re export all these bad boys. Let's export. Shoot, what did I have selected? That's one thing that. Okay, so let's go SNES export selection. I guess I can always um, export SNES console. This is the console cartridge. There we go. So now if I go back to, and let's say I want to reload this project. Um, I just go body. And uh, be careful if I want these, and then it should be okay. Oh no. Ah, oh, shoot. I'm an idiot. Um, so sorry. I have to make sure that I have selected mesh turned on um hold on so it's this controller whoops uh so selected mesh controller uh console or else it's just gonna export everything out which is not what you want um uh, no that's the wrong one console i wish this i can minimize this like if there's a way for me to minimize this this is this would be great um, so that I can actually see what I have selected. Right now it just takes up the whole window and I can't see what I have selected. Which is really, really annoying. Um, there we go. Okay. So now that should be a little bit better. Uh, so let me just re... Uh, let's go here. There. Um, now I have all these... I have all these null. Oh my god, okay. Let's just go new. Let's go new. Let's just redo all this here. Alright. Good lesson learned. You gotta do this right the first time. Um, oh gosh. It's fine. Whatever. I'm not gonna get too too picky about this. Um, don't have the energy. Um, so let's bake a bunch of these maps. Uh, a no ID map. One thousand should be okay. Use this. Bake out all the maps here. Okay, there we go. Cool. Um, we're gonna add in an emissive. All right. Um, so now we just go back to our layers here. So we have essentially three layers here um and delete this delete base uh this is gonna be eject it's gonna be switch um go to pure ref here
All right. Okay, so we got this set up now. Let me just quickly save this console SVP. Let's replace that right now. All right. So let's um, let's add in some like dirt or something. Let's add in some dirt. Let's see here. Um. What is going on here? I just find it so weird, like why is it acting up like that? But okay, let's not get too um, attached to that. Um, so we got ourselves a base here. Um, let's create a folder here. Um, let's call this the base. Uh, this should probably be put um, all right this and I'm gonna copy this here copy mask I'm just gonna paste this mask onto here Can I not paste my mask onto here? Hmm. Copy mask. Uh, export mask to file. I guess not. I would love to just take this. But it doesn't look like that's going to work, unfortunately. Um. Just add mask here. Add black mass. Uh, okay, here we go. Um, I can just copy mask and I can just paste it there. All right. And what I can do here is I can just delete. Whoops. I can just delete this mask. I can remove mask here, and now I have this base. All right, with this mask in there. And then I can start to add um, like dirt, dirt and stuff like that. Um, let's add a generator. Let's add a dirt generator. That's really bad. What's going on here? Um, geez, no, let's not do that. Let's go, um, add a fill layer. Let's, uh, look at our pure ref here and let's just get, um, more yellowy kind of look over here. So it's gonna look like that, right? And we're going to add, um, generator. Let's 
so that's a little bit generic, obviously. Um, we're gonna want the dirt level to be a lot more. It's almost like it's caked on. Um, this is all. Oh, this is also. This be a little bit a lot rougher. Roughness, metallic. This is not gonna be metallic. Get rid of metallic. Get rid of emissive. Um, for the base as well, uh, there's a little bit of normal information that we need to kind of add in there. Um, trying to think of what kind of noise we want here. Kind of per the noise. Nope. You want like a noise, like an actual noise. Simple noise. No. Nope. I'm trying to find some noise. Just a generic noise. Microscopic moisture noise, perlin noise. I guess it's perlin noise. That that's what I'm looking for. Let's see here. So let's go perlin noise, and then let's go to um, where's the tiling rate on this thing? Um, noise scale. It's bring. Let's go like two fifty six or something. Nope. Nope. That's gross. How do I do that? Stripes, plastic grid, plastic rainy, plastic rainy. I think that might actually be better. Hold on. Oof, what's going on here? Plastic rainy, um, plastic rainy, parameters, seeds, noise intensity, um, if I can control the tiling rate on that, that'd be cool. Let me see here. Let me bring this normal thing back. Let's bring this. Something like that would be cool. All right, because I think, because if you look at the SNES, how's it going there, Bartolone? How you doing? Sorry about that. Didn't realize someone was chatting in here. Um, let's, um, what the hell is that doing? I got distracted. Um, I'm trying to look at my reference. So if you zoom in very closely to the reference, like it's not like a perfect, there's a little bit of noise to the plastic. So I'm going to try and keep that kind of feeling there. Um, the roughness, like this is definitely going to be a little bit rougher. Now this caked on, oh, hold on let me just turn that off because that's looking pretty bad. Um, and this color is way off. Yes, I do know Kevin Brunt. Kevin Brunt, um... I had an opportunity to work with him on Garden Warfare. Garden Warfare 2. He's a colleague of mine. Yeah, I hate that guy. Um, let me just quickly... How do you know Kevin Brunt? that yeah he's actually the one that got me um, into streaming this is normal something like that that would be cool 
yeah, I noticed that he was um, streaming, and him and I spoke a little bit about it because I'm I mainly was doing YouTube, and then um, him and I spoke a, a little bit about um, about how he's been streaming, and and then I was like, dude, maybe I should start it up. We got a little bit of uh, nice natural noise there. Um, now, as for this caked on, I have to figure this out here. Um, the roughness needs to be way more than that. It's like a gross cakiness to it. And then I'm going to have to like hand paint and all that. Nice part, Bartolon. Um, I guess, uh, are you from uh, Vancouver as well? Or um, are you an environment artist? This is a dirt. So, let's see here. Thank you so much, there, Bertalon, for the follow. Really appreciate it, man. Getting closer and closer to that 50 follows. How's my mic volume, by the way? Oh, nice, dude. Textures and tools. You're like a TA almost, or essentially, and we love our TAs at EA, that's for sure, 100%. Awesome, good, good, good. Yeah, like, we, we, we love our, our TAs, man, like. Caked on, don't like that. Um, let's add a paint layer here. And let's go to brush. Unofficial TA, but yeah, I guess. Yeah, well, uh, um, I have, I know somebody who. Um, essentially was an environment artist and then he had switched over uh, to become a, a full-time TA so it's definitely a route that uh, you can potentially also take as well how many years have you been in the industry now? And what studio are you working for? What's all the size? Let's go pen pressure. I really need to get a new... Get a new tablet, I think. It's like super old. No pressure, just... And thanks for hanging out with me tonight, man. Really appreciate it. It gets pretty lonely when you're streaming by yourself. Um, AAA for three of those. I work at CERN Affinity. Okay, cool, dude. CERN Affinity, nice. And are you pretty happy there at CERN Affinity? Probably get rid of a bunch of this too. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, I totally, I totally feel you, man. Um, EA is pretty good as well, um, from my experience so far. So it's good that it's good to hear that, um, you know. 
uh, the video game industry is changing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm sure there's some studios that are still pretty, um, pretty crazy when it comes to the crunch and stuff, right? But it's nice to know that the overall, um, you know, overall um, industry is uh, trying to change. So this dirt pass, it's like a caked on feeling, but right now I'm feeling like maybe the roughness is a little bit too much, so I'm just gonna scale it down just a tad bit. Um, now, as for this base, this base is starting to feel a little bit weird. Uh, let's just add this black mask back on. I'm just gonna take this mask, um, I'm gonna copy this mask right here, I'm just gonna paste this here. I'm just going to remove this at the moment. Come on, come on, come on. What's going on here? I have to be so accurate. It's really annoying. There. Let's see here. Out of the three years I've been here, I've had to crunch one day. Damn, dude, that sounds pretty good. My last video wasn't so balanced. Sixty-six hours work. Uh, sixty-six hour work. Work. Oh, sorry. Sixty-six hour weeks during crunch a year straight. Damn. That yeah, that definitely doesn't sound like fun. That's for sure. Okay, now what? What do these look like? Let's. Yeah, negative fun. Yeah, you don't want that, man. Um, and it's and it's that type of uh, stuff that you know people hear about that scares them about the industry, right? So, um, so yeah. So it's nice that um, that that is not. I mean, like I said, every studio is a little bit different, right? But what's going on here? Oh, that's what I gotta do. I gotta paint this color. Just doing the back here. Um, then I'm just gonna eject, eject the bun. Okay, so that is a, like dark. Hmm. Sure, let's just add that for now. Like that. Let's go UV shells, maybe. There we go. That's a lot better. And then this one is also kind of like gray. So I'm just going to add um, that onto there. It's like a metal, so I'm gonna have to add a different thing to that. Um, now this cakiness, I feel like we need to add um, hold on. Position. Mass building. Mass editor. 
I think at this point, less is more. So something like that is probably a lot nicer. Um, like a more subtle kind of look compared to what we had earlier, which was like really caked on. So I think I'm going to stick with something like this. Um, okay, and then... For now, let's go and um, polygon mesh. Let's go something like that for now as well. Cool, cool, cool. Let's take a look at what else we gotta do here. Um, so there's that back there. Hmm. How am I going to get that? So there's a, oh, wow. I, there's some little details here that I've completely missed out on. It's like an on and off thing here. Um, is there text now in Substance Painter? I feel like there is, but I'm not, I'm not 100%. Okay. Um, so now it's down to like the small details, right? So, um, so let's go to the normals. Um, so let's uh, create a brand new layer. I'm gonna call this um, like height or normal. And then this one is gonna have everything just height and normal in it and then i'm going to so this is going to negative let's go negative five maybe just see how this looks okay and then we're going to um select a hard brush here and then we're going to okay i'm going to try and make so there's like a little dot here and then a little dot here um, let's make this okay. So let's go. So this is height. So let's go negative, negative point five. Thanks, man. Um, nice work on GW, by the way. I like the art style of that series. Yeah, man, it's pretty cool. Um, it's pretty exciting. Um, it was really fun to work on that project. Uh, really, really proud of what we were able to accomplish on that project. So, um, so yeah, man, thank you so much. What are some games that, uh, that, that you had made? Okay, you know what? Add paint. No. Okay, hold on here. I'm gonna remove this remove mask. I'm just gonna add paint. And here I'm just gonna paint. Yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna add. It's like really small. It's like right next to it. Something like that. I'm gonna center it just a tad bit. There we go. And then it says it says on and stuff, but I don't know if there is there text tools now. I don't know if there actually is text tools. Is there text? Can you write text now? I don't know if you can actually write text.
I don't think there's an actual text. Self reminder. I contribute to Ark Survival Mafia 3. Wow, dude. Modern Warfare Remastered. A couple of other titles I can't talk about yet. Of course, I totally understand that. I'm in the same boat as well. Um, damn, dude. You've been part of a lot of projects, man. That's that's pretty awesome. Good on you, bud. That's pr pretty sweet. Okay. Let me just search this up. It's been so long since I've been the substance painter. Um... Type tool? Is there a type tool? I think Modern Warfare was my favorite project despite never having played the actual game. Uh, uh, hey man, that happens sometimes, dude. Um, so a lot of people are saying that they don't have a text tool in Substance Painter. I don't... Is that really? Really? It's 2018. Do they really not have this? Okay. Well, if they don't have it, then they don't have it. Um... Blur... Yeah, I mean, you would think that it'd be, like, right here if they had it. Okay. It's okay. I think that just means that I have to um, do a little bit of Photoshop work then to to make, like, um, an alpha. And uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not too difficult to do, so. Um, but I'll do that another time. Um... Wonder if the text tool can be packed as an SBSAR from the designer? Uh, yeah, it probably could be. It's just kind of crappy because that means that I need to do a bunch of alphas. Um, I'm trying to think here how I would do this. Yeah, so I would have to create a bunch of alphas with the, the text um, on the console. I mean, again, that's that's not the worst thing in the world, but it just means I have to kind of w work around it a little bit, and I have to play around with my reference um, and find a really, really good reference. Like, that's a terrible reference, right? Really, really blurry. Um, see, like, this is going to be a lot better. So I need to grab th these here. I'm just going to do that right now. gonna do that right now this embossed Nintendo thing is gonna be pretty cool to do hold on here I have to try and make sure that I don't have um, chat going to here okay um, so I've gotta... this is really really small oh shoot what's this I almost feel like it's probably better if I just type it out myself because that's really small and it's going to be really low res. There's got to be, I have to have a text that's some, that's pretty close to that. Come on. Um, maybe an aerial? Let's see. We'll try it out. We'll see how it looks. Let's see. Let's see. Um... No, it's definitely not that at all. Um, it's definitely skinnier, narrow. 
Okay, that's a little bit closer. Yep, that's a lot closer. Okay, so we have that. Just gonna make a little quick alpha sheet here. Um, reset. And then we have eject. Eject. Yeah, it's quite close to the actual thing. So we'll keep it at that for now. I'm gonna need this alpha to as well. Um, okay, so let's go and let's go image size. It's uh, why is this the centimeters? What's going on here? Um, let's go like five twelve by five twelve. Let's not lock this. Let's go something like that. Right. And then obviously we need to make this a black background. I don't know what this is. I'm going to delete it. Um, So we're gonna just something like that. Okay, uh, let's go do like a JPEG or PNG or something. Um, just gonna go to Painter. Um, let's go text. A little console underscore text. Something like that. Compression none. All right. Okay, cool. Okay, so now if I go to textures and I import in, it's filtering. It's um. Let's go through here. It's a alpha or texture. Let's go alpha. Um, let's go project. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, so now if I project. Okay, so now if I go something like this. Um, oh, shoot. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not what I want. Oh, I can do the on and off button as well. Hmm. Should probably do that as well. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's do that as well. Uh, let's just duplicate both of these. Let's go on. And then... Let's go off that let's save this again nope that's an yes let's go painter um, what did I call this I don't remember what I call this P let's go PNG it's called console text one let's overwrite it none and then let's also let's go something like that Save the PSDs as well. Okay, so let's um, see how this all works. Um, I'm actually pretty curious. Um, Bart, how did you um, find my channel, by the way? Holy cow, what am I doing? Um, substance painter. 
Let's reload this. I'm gonna have to project this. I browsed the three Marlin category, saw a big ass Super Nintendo. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's pretty funny. Saw a big ass Super Nintendo. I forgot how to do this already. Um, how to project. Oh, this is what I need to do. Like I said, man, it's a stencil. That's what it is. It's, it's been so long, dude. Nope. What is it? Here it is. Okay. Um, change tool flow. Change tool size. Nope. How do I change the stencil size? Um, change to a flow. I know that you can change the size of this thing. How do I do that? Let's see here. No, it's not that. No, it's not that. No, it's not that. Shift, stencil, rotate. Okay, here we go. Um, line, draw, snap, straight. Rotate, alt, shift, left. No. Hold S, right click. Oh. Oh. There you go. There you go. Oh my god. It's S. That's such a random button. But I guess it makes sense for stencil. Oh man. I accidentally removed something, I think. Hold on. So let me just. So hold on here. So this is normal. Thanks a lot, dude. Thanks a lot, Bart. Massive help there. Um. Okay, what's going on? I'm gonna go negative five here, and then I'm gonna go. Um, Okay, so that's turning. Okay, so now I need to do one where the height is plus five. And then we need to go back to negative five. To do another dot. Hold on, let's go back to plus five. Point five. And then let's. Oh no, what am I doing? Let me look at my reference photos here. Um, a mentor in my spare time really helps cement all the fine details in my mind. That's awesome, dude. That's really, really awesome. Yeah, I taught uh, one semester at uh, the Art, um, LaSalle College, which is the Art Institute here in Vancouver for a semester and uh, yeah that was a lot that was lots of fun um, 
there we go. Let's go, let's move this. Shoot, I have to get used to moving this stencil around off and then okay so now no more stencil let's go back to our brush let's go hard and let's go um, There we go. Nope. Just be negative five. Something like that. There we go. So now we have an on and off button. Like that. Save that out. All right. And then now we need to do the the text. So I'm gonna create a brand new layer here. Yeah, man, I'm really, really enjoying it. It feels a lot more like Photoshop, which is really nice. All right, be right back. I'm just going to quickly um, take a drink of take a drink of water or get some more water. Okay, so be right back, BRB. All right. All right, let's get back to this here. So let's look at the pure ref. So that's pretty interesting. I should probably do that one as well. I'm just looking at my reference, sorry guys, um, on my other monitor. Um, okay, um, viewport. I know there's a way to go into perspective as well. Um, I forgot what that uh hockey was because right now this is oh here it is there it is okay there so now i'm in orthographic view text tool works as a generator from designer but you can't control the font well that's uh that's great thanks a lot thanks a lot substance i mean you know what to be fair substance is such like substance designer such a painter amazing software right not every software is gonna be perfect it's like me using blender right now right it's not perfect um and i'll use Bl I'll, I'll use blender for personal stuff for a little bit but if i'm getting too frustrated with that program because i can't model as quickly as i can in maya after like a month then i'll probably switch over i'll probably switch back to maya right so um we'll see we'll see so far i'm actually 
but I can make it let me control the font. Ooh, see? That's where your job comes in, man. I, I wish I had the um, patience to do that. I definitely don't. So let's see, text here. Um, hold on, I should probably get a fill. I want a fill layer. Delete this, I want to get a fill layer. Um, we'll call this text. Uh, add a black mask. We're gonna go to add paint. And then we'll um, stencil. Uh, where's that texture that I threw in there? Uh, or alpha. Um, come on. What did I... Oh, man. Look. Oh, okay. They have some pretty cool ones. Um, let's see. Substance. Where is my... Console. I think I named it. Oh, here it is. Throw this out here. Okay, so let's, um, so S, hold on, S, and to scale it, zoom, mm, mm-hmm, 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 this is going to be a little, it's going to be something like that, oh, wrong button. So power, and then we're gonna want to move this to reset. And let me just take a look at the reset here. So the reset is a little bit off-centered just because it has that little triangle thing that it has to have there, so. Okay, whoops. Okay. All right, cool. And then there's like a little triangle. Um, let's see if they have a triangle in here. They do have some triangles. I mean, I can probably just draw it. What am I talking about, man? Let's quickly go and draw this. Let's go to brushes. Let's go here. Come on, I can probably draw this. Right, so it's just like Jeez, it's not. Okay, maybe I can't draw it. Jeez, okay. Um, okay, let's go something like that. Whoa, what did I just do? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my god, what did I just do? I think I just did a bunch. Of <laughs> I pressed the button and it screwed everything up. Okay, well. Well, let's redo all that. It's fine. Um. So power. Okay. Set that. Let's go to brushes. Hardage.
I think I just got another follow. Give me one second while I finish this here. Then I'll check out what just happened. Katie special. And that's my brother. Gave me a follow. Okay, let me see here, man. Just no, nope, that's not what I want. Um what I want there we go something like that let me see my reference here yep that looks pretty good um, let's just quickly draw this out here there we go okay let me just quickly uh, where's this perspective here let's get rid of this perspective so now it's starting to slowly quickly save that there. They're probably looking for a fifth or something for or a fourth for uh, for PUBG. Okay, so let's see here. So we got that's looking pretty cool. Um, the eject button. That's the last thing I need to do here. Um, so let's quickly stencil this in. So the eject button. I'm gonna. This is definitely gonna be a lot smaller. Pretty close to what it should be. Um, I draw this in. There we go. Cool. off we got that looking decent um, let's take a look at some other references here see how everything else looks um, so they have this like two player thing oh man I didn't man there's some really good details in here that I didn't even realize um, until I'm looking at this stuff it's really cool um, Okay, so this one, let's go. So this is negative five. So this is like a one player type of thing. Like, hold on, let me take this brush here. Let's uh, go soft, bring this down. So it's like, it's like, it's like this little, I think it's to symbolize that it's a one, that this is the first player. And then over here, hold on, so that, it's right there. Oh, sorry. Yes, yeah, so it's got like little, two little kind of uh, little dots there to kind of symbolize one player and second player. Um, didn't even notice that little detail when I was when I was little. <clears throat> All right, I'm scared. Let's move on to. Let's take a look at some more reference images here. Um, what else is there? So this this Nintendo brand thing, that's pretty cool. I might have to. I definitely need to add that in there. Um, so this Nintendo brand thing. So let's just. I'm gonna quickly save this. Let's. Um, I should probably throw this into Marmoset as well. It's just kind of like give it a little baseline kind of see how everything all looks um, but before I do that I want to do this one last Nintendo thing because it just it looks really really cool um, and we'll see if we can emboss this in here um, 
let's see here. Uh, Nintendo logo. Yeah, so we got a logo like that. Let me see the reference. I'll show you guys the reference. So the reference doesn't have the the um, the copyright thing in it. So it's something like this. So I'm gonna take this image here. I'm just gonna take the logo. Okay. SNES reference. Where's the logo? So we throw the logo. Oh, it's my Photoshop. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Um, I can move some of these stencils out of the way. Put the Nintendo logo here if I want. That might be something that I should probably do. Um, all right. Let's just kind of bring this down here. All right. Something like this. Um, uh, let's just kind of select this. Get rid of all that stuff. Alright, just get rid of all that. Um, control I. Nope, let's just go control U. Saturation, white. There we go. Um, it looks like this is going to be a little bit thicker than what I'd like it, but it's okay. I'm just going to move all these over. Um,. And sure, I think just having it like that should be okay. Um, I might move the power button over here um, just because that's the thing. Scaling it up now is going to lose its pixelation, so I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to move this back. I'm trying to keep as much resolution as I can. So let's try to go something like that. Alright, and then I'll redo all this again. This is why I don't think um, Photoshop is ever going to be um, gone like in video games anytime soon. Just because like doing something like that that quickly, like you still can't do that are you ready to infringe on some copyrights? I know, man. It's okay. This is for personal work. I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm not uh, planning on making any money off this stuff, so it should be okay. Um, so, or I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. If not, then I don't even know what to say. Um, Okay, so let's go to normal. Uh, this is going to be an indent. Photoshop is pretty obsolete even from the perspective of how you're using it now. There's a lot of free alternatives that you can do simple stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, I guess you can, you know, use GIMP and all that stuff, right? But Photoshop is just such a industry standard now at this point. I mean, you learn it in school and stuff like that. But yeah, you're right to to a certain extent as well. I read that uh, GIMP um, has like plugins and stuff like that to make it feel and look exactly just like Photoshop. I was looking into that the other day. But again, like it's taking the time to like go in and install these plugins and stuff like that to make it feel like Photoshop when, you know, I'm sure you and I, um, you know, in Photoshop, we're just flying out there, right? Krita. I feel like I've I've heard of Krita before. Yeah, I've heard of Krita before. Um, yeah, I've, I've definitely heard of Krita before. But... Again, you know, it's 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 tough to switch gears unless work is helping me. Um, I'm already like learning Blender, which is like something that most three D artists are like, "What are you doing?" You know, trying to learn Blender if you're already in the industry um, doing Maya. But 
you know, it is what it is, right? Oh, shoot. Um... For a free piece of software, Blender is phenomenal, right? But I know a lot of um, people who are just like, you're crazy for, um, for, for trying to learn it. Um... Now, why is this showing up as negative or... Okay, let's see here. Did that work? Okay, let's um... Let's go control five. Oh yeah, that worked. Now, there we go. I feel like it should be. Nope, that's about right. That's about right. <clears throat> All it's going to take is one big name student to use it and back it up with a success story. Then other students will start to follow stuff after they look at the savings. Exclusively use Blender. And maybe have a few floating Max and Maya license for special plugins that Blender doesn't have yet. Yeah, ex exactly right. Like a lot of studios, I mean, the reason why a lot of big AAA studios use Maya is because a lot of the pipelines and tools are already built in with Maya in mind. To have a studio go in and rewrite a bunch of that stuff for Blender, um, it's, you know, they have to kind of weigh. I mean, you're right though. Licenses for Maya is not cheap. Like it's ridiculously expensive, which is why for personal work, I've switched over to Blender because for me to have to pay for my LT um, every month just to do personal work, I'm just like, it's not bad, but it's not, you know, it's money that I can be saving. Um, all right, so this is pretty, looking pretty decent for my f first kind of day working on this thing. Um, let me just quickly save this. Let me export this out for now. Um, um, I was lucky enough to get a perpetual license from Maya before they did a, a, when, before they did away with them. Yeah, I hate that. I hate how they how, how they switched that over. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Targa. Um, let's go to SNES. Gotta make that money. Oh, man. They make so much money. Those guys are ridiculous, man. Um, okay, let's go to textures here. Autodesk makes ridiculous amounts of money. Um, how is this going to... So this is mesh... Configuration. Is there a marmoset? Is there a marmoset in here? No, they don't have a marmoset in here, which is really unfortunate. Oh well. Um, PBR, metal rough. Um. Let's go to config here. Um, metal PBR. Um, can I get rid? Let's see here. So I don't want the mesh. Let's just go something like that. Yeah, let's do something like that. Got to, <laughs> got to keep getting paid to release dreary updates. You know what's crazy is Maya's. Maya's tools have slowly increased or improved. Is it, is it, you know, $3,000 worth? Probably not. 
What's up there, Kovu? Holy cow, I, could, I just have a bunch of buddies and stuff hopping on here now. Let's see here. Let's open up this folder. Um, okay, let's, okay, let's quickly check this in Marmoset and just see how this all looks. Blender. Hopefully you guys are doing good today in PUBG. I don't know, man. Since 2015, Maya has gone clunkier. Sure, they have some cool new features, but man, I get more crashes and slowdowns in 2017, 2018 than I do in my version at home in 2016. Yeah, I mean, but you know what? Like, I really... Right now, I'm using Blender. And the knife tool in Blender is, like, nowhere even close to the multi-cut tool that's in Maya right now. Um, ever since Maya bought uh, Unfold 3D and took it away from Blender... Like, the UV tools are so good in 2018. So, I mean, you're right. It is a little bit clunkier. But, like, maybe I just don't notice the clunk the clunkiness. No, you're not a fan of the multi-cut tool? Oh, man, I'm, I love the multi-cut tool. Multi-cut tool is really good. At least, in my opinion, it's really, really good. Um... I mean, and the only comparison that I have is the split polygon tool back in the day, um, and the um, the knife tool in Blender, multi crash tool. Wow, I mean, may maybe I've just gotten really lucky um, because I haven't experienced um, I haven't really experienced that. So, um, let's see here. Let's quickly figure this out here. Uh, Thoth TV, thank you so much for the follow. Holy cow, I'm getting... Kovu, th also, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, this is essentially just a bunch of my... Uh, a bunch of... Uh, my brothers and my friends coming in now. Raiding my channel. Thank you guys so much for the raid. The four people raid. I used to put polygon through the code for it. It still exists, but you can't find it anywhere in the menus. Yeah, they did a good job at hiding it. But dude, I don't know, man. For me, I haven't had any problems with multi-cut tool. The multi-cut tool has worked phenomenal for me. So, um, I have absolutely no complaints with it. Okay, um, let me... Put in some textures here. Okay, so let's go... So, albedo. Let's get the albedo in here. Um, emissive. Don't have emissive yet. Let's go for the metallic. Um... Metallic. Ooh, it looks gross. Um, metallic. Uh, normals. Take a look at the normals here. Uh, normals. Normal map. Uh, roughness. Gloss. Um, I always get this confused. Roughness, I believe, is my gross. And then all I have to do is I think I have to invert a few of these. <laughs> Come on, that doesn't look right. So this, let's go invert that. There we go, that looks more correct. We've got the normal maps in there. Um, no, that's right. Yeah, there we go. So right now with the lighting, with the shadows, you don't really get to see the on and off button. And that Nintendo s sign at the back there, doesn't you don't really get to see it. I'm also noticing that it looks like it's bumping the wrong way. So let me just flip the Y. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That's what I need to do. I need to flip the Y. Okay, cool. So today got the console pretty much like the base textures of it. Um, I'm sure it's better now. When they introduced it, it caused cr numerous crashes. So I went back to the good old reliable split polygon tool. Yes, I do remember that as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was 2016. That was when they, or no, 2015 or something. They first introduced it. And yeah, it was pretty bad. And I definitely didn't want... And I, I felt the exact same way. I actually, feel, I actually remember that now. 
um, not being very impressed with that tool. And then, um, I mean, it's been like three, four years now. Dude, it's so good. There's so many like hockeys for it now to let you do like quick loops and to align and snap different percentages and stuff like that. Like it's it's I don't know. I think you should definitely go back in and, and give it a give it another shot. It's it's definitely improved. It's useful if you don't have hotkeys. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? I'm gonna stop convincing you. Um, all I know is I use that. I use multi-cut tool exclusively now. I don't even touch the split polygon tool anymore. And honestly, I I don't even miss it. I used to, but not definitely not anymore. I can see why they've um, they've hidden the split polygon tool now. Um, but again, it's all personal preference, right? If split polygon tool works for you, then great. Keep, keep using it. Um, but for me, it's, it's definitely not. Okay. So now I'm noticing like the, the lighting, all right. Now that I have some like textures in here, this looks really gross and dirty looking compared to like in here here this looks really nice and again it's probably because of the bright lights and stuff um so i have to decide what i want to do here N now these lights just don't look as appealing anymore um so i'm, I'm gonna have to definitely tweak that for future renders um let me just check some of my cameras here I'm gonna try and take a look at some of my. Hmm. Okay. Let me just quickly. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm definitely not not digging this right now. Um. Yeah, it's a good tool. I'm just saying I don't need to use it at this point because I already have some custom keys that essentially do the same thing. Yeah, I mean, dude, you're you're lucky. You're you you know you're tech you're technically you're technically sound and savvy. I mean, for most artists like us, I mean, we're kind of screwed when it comes to those type of things. So, um, what's going on here, dude? Okay, so I'm just trying to take a look at this here, and I don't. Okay, so this is definitely still a lot better. Um, I just have to adjust, I think, some of my colors. Brightness. Nope, don't like that one. My fill light. Give it a little bit more natural light. So let's see, okay, there. So that's looking a little bit better than before. I feel like this is a little bit too shiny. The plastic is a little bit too shiny. I'm gonna have to go in and tweak the value on that because right now it's like super, super bright. I'm a, I'm a fan of consolidating tools into one context sensitive button. Multicut is a good example of that. There you go. Yep, there you go. That's a great way to put it. That's a great way to put it. I mean, to be fair, if I was tech savvy, I'd probably write a bunch of custom tools and stuff like that myself as well. Um, but 
I mean, I'm not, unfortunately. Okay. That's one thing that I really like. It's gonna, if Blender, when I finally fully get to model something only exclusively in Blender, I think that's probably what's gonna kill me is the multi cut tool. All right, it's past 2 a.m. here. I have work at 9 30. I should probably get to the sleep. All right, dude, thank you so much, Bart, for coming out and hanging out with me, man. Um, and thanks for the follow. Um, you have a good night. Have fun at work tomorrow, man. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you again. Uh, see you again soon. All right, let's go. So this is saved. Let's move on to the. N let's try and get a base going here for. Um, Let's do the let's get a quick cartridge going on here. It's OpenGL. Um, let's do 2K for now. Okay, let's get the second thought. Steam achievements. What? I'll keep an eye out for your stream. Thank you so much, man. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm trying to think. Could I copy a material? I mean, I guess I could. Um, but okay. Let's just quickly take a look here. Um, let's throw in some materials here. Um, let's do a plastic grainy again. I really like the plastic grainy. Um, and let's just quickly... Let's take a look at my reference here. Let's uh, just uh, eye drop. Let's eye drop something. Let's eye drop. There we go. And then let's take a look at the grainy. So normals definitely need to go. Uh, we need to bump up this noise here. <laughs> let's go, let's break this down to three. Yeah, that's a, that looks about right. Um, let's look to look at the reference here. Mystical Ninja. Let's see what the back looks like. So that's the back. So if I wanted to do like a okay, so if I go um, let's go height or normal or whatever. Um, it's definitely height. Um, wait, what's going on here? So this is like a little indent here. Let's go 0.5. Okay, let's go with the harder brush. Can I? No. Uh, change hardness vertical. Go 
I want to see the wireframe on this thing. Um, material. Where's the wireframe? Typically, I can see the wireframe on this thing. Let me see. Oh, shoot. I forgot to bake. Let's, let's bake out some maps here. Curvature. Yep. Let's see. Let's bake this out. This should help. Add some more, yeah, there you go. It adds a little bit more detail to the whole thing, which is nice. Um, yeah, there we go. Nice, okay. Let's quickly save this here. Um, SNES cartridge. There we go. Hello, what do you think of the new Substance Painter UI? Um, what's up there, and Bullrog Ninja? Um, I actually don't mind it, man. Um, it feels... How do, how do I want to say this? Um, it feels more like Photoshop. I don't know if that was on purpose on their part. Like, if they wanted to do that. Um... Again, maybe because they want to make it like super easy for someone coming from Photoshop, or maybe I mean, I get, then again, Photoshop has a pretty pretty good layout, or in my opinion. Um, but I'm also pretty biased. I've been in Photoshop for a very long time, so. Um, but yeah, maybe that's why I'm, I'm I'm not too sure, but. But yeah, no, I I really enjoy it, man. How how about yourself? Are you are you a big fan of the new um, substance designer? Or oh, sorry, substance painter UI. So there we go. So we got the back in there. Um, I need to find a better image. Hold on, let me show you guys what, what I'm looking at. Probably what the hell is this guy looking at? Um, I need to find a better image of this back part so I could just like stamp it onto yeah it's been it's been pretty good it's been a pretty good I mean like it took it took some time obviously to um, get used to it a bit but um, but no it's been it's been pretty good um, okay so let me see here so I gotta do that um, oh I, I already have the stencil for this hold on project let me import. I already have a stencil for. Is it textures? No, it's not textures. It's um, painter. Project. Alpha import. Jarvis Foster is now following. Thank you so much, Jarvis Foster, for the follow. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you for the support. We are getting really close to 50 followers. Uh, thank you all so much for coming out and hanging out with me. Um, the only thing is there is no scroll bar for the layer layers window anymore, which is kind of driving me crazy. Oh, this thing, right? Okay, dude. Dude, I know exactly what you mean. I, I just ran into that issue, like like 20 minutes ago and I was like what is going on um okay so so I'm not crazy that's that's confirmed confirmed uh, thank you man for doing a great job no thank you man thank you um I don't know how long you've been watching for um but yeah no this is this is all for you this is all for for everyone here to to watch and hopefully um it seems like a, a lot of people who watch are 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 like pros already um so um but if you're not and you are learning then awesome
Okay, so what I do notice here um, in this Nintendo one is this one actually has the copyright thing in it, which is really funny, whereas the other one didn't. Um, but whatever. Okay, there we go. And let me just bring this back to zero. And let me just paint this out. Oh no. Okay. So let me just go use stencil. I can probably just erase it, right? Yeah, I can just erase it. There we go. Cool. Save that quickly here. I'm always so curious on to see how how people find my stream. Um, this is a nice change, to be honest with you guys. The past last week, I'd say most of my streams I was like by myself. So it's nice to finally have people here to actually chit chat and talk to and um, so. So yeah, no. So thank you guys. Thank you everybody for for coming out here and um, chilling. I basically moved the properties window next to the layers window. Layers window has its own section by itself, kind of wasting real estate that way. But oh well. Hey man, do do you right? Whatever works for you um, is is the most optimal. You know what I mean? Um, like let's be real here. Me live streaming, right? Um, like everything has to be kind of on one screen, right? So, I mean, I'm not being productive either compared to when I'm, uh, working without streaming, right? I have my second monitor, I have like my UVs and like my Maya and all this stuff on separate monitor. And so, so I, I, t I totally get it. Um, I searched substance painter and found you. Oh, okay. Um, I guess people are really curious about substance painter right now. Um, so I should probably... I should probably do more substance painter stuff. I just tuned into your stream, but it's easy to see quality right away. I'm interested in learning substance painter, and you seem like a good source to learn from. All right, well, dude, yeah, man, thank you so much. Um, yeah, I mean, hopefully, uh, if you just tuned in, you just missed out on. I spent probably the last hour and a half um, doing the console part of this. Hold on, let me just quickly save this here. Um, so I was I was doing this part, the console. Um, and then right now I'm just kind of, I'm just doing like quick base textures right now. Um, and then I'm going to start detailing everything, um, in the next couple of weeks, obviously. Uh, like right now, I think I'm, I'm getting into the weed of things right now. Like I shouldn't be spending this all this time getting all this detail in here. Like. Um, I'm looking at my cameras and I don't even have, like, I have, okay. Like, I probably won't even see ha half of that detail. So, if I'm smart, I need to, um, do a few shots where it's just a cartridge or something, like, later on. Um, because right now, at this point, all this detail that I'm putting in, like, no one's ever going to see this. So, yeah. So, I need to be a little bit smarter with what I'm doing. Um, people will see this backside, though, so... I need to quickly search up uh, some good reference images for for that right now. Um, SNES cartridge back label. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Is this actually the one? I think this actually is the one. Like, legit. Is it? Let me see. Um, let me see. Oh, this is not what I... Holy cow, this is a... Hold on here. Um... Important. Yeah, I think this might actually be the one.
Yeah, okay, so this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Let's see this image here. Wait, is that actually the image? It says there's copyright stuff in it. Oh, I see. I see. Someone just essentially remade it as a label. How about this one? Okay, this one looks like it's legit. Let's go um, cartridge back label. There we go. Okay, and then let's uh, just... Nope, what am I doing? Reference. Back label. So I'm actually just going to move this over to Painter. And I'm just going to import this in here. It's going to be a texture. Um, hmm, how do I want to do this? Do I want to make it a texture? Yeah, let's try let's try it out as as a texture first. Let's go to project. Oh, project. Okay, so there's a label there. So I can stencil this. Um, let's go. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, so right now, because of the odd um, ratio, it's not. So let me just quickly see. Okay, so it's probably better if I make this a proper scale. Like a... Okay, so let me just quickly throw this into Photoshop and quickly edit this. Image size. Uh, let's not lock. Let's not lock this. So let's go. Okay, hold on. What am I doing? Canvas size. I need to go to canvas size. I almost screwed that up. Pixels. Let's go 934. Keep everything the way that it is. There we go. So we go something like that. back label save the PSD save the PNG as well there we go okay so let's reload this I don't know if that worked or not All right. Nope. Sorry. So let's um. Can I delete this? Nope. Okay. Um. Let's drag this in here. It's PNG texture. Project import. So I don't know if that actually. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's quickly... Oh. oh, hold on. Um, so we don't want normals, we just want, um, a layer here. Let's 
size, flow. We want color. That's what we want. There we go. That's what we wanted. There we go. Okay, now what's going on here? How come I'm getting like this really weird... Flow should be 100%. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What if I go... There we go. Okay, hold on. This is going to be a lot better. Um, let's rotate this. There we go. Oh no, I want this brush to be bigger. Let's go 200. Nope. Um. I don't want, let's say brush shape. Let's go to brush shape here. Let's go with like a, is there like a big, Shape, let's go. Let's go with a big square. Is there a square? Yeah, there we go. Let's go with something like this. What? Sorry guys, I'm trying to figure this out. This is really weird. Um, Oh, sorry, dude. Let me see here. Yeah, I gotta maybe adjust where I put my camera in Substance Painter. Um, let me see. Hold on. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's like right in there. Um, hmm. Where would be a better spot for that? Hmm. Okay, that's a good point. That's a really good point for for future here. Now, I'm trying to think. I've been debating if it's better for me to um just make like a little overlay where I have like my webcam and then like on top like chat or something and like my social media stuff and then have like a screen overlay like it's hard to explain but essentially to have like this section this section right here as like my my display like my monitor display and then on this section over here this is where my webcam my chat and and all that um i don't know what you guys think about that i don't know if that is the way to go about it so that Everyone kind of sees what's going on. Uh, here, I'll show, I'll show you guys an example of a streamer that I've been watching. 
I want to see. I want to get your guys' opinion on this. See what you guys' thoughts are. Um, his name is Mort. Mort. I don't know if you guys know who he is, but if you watch his, let me see here. So for him. So for him, you'll notice. Uh, what the hell's going on here? Uh, all videos past broadcasts. Okay. Yeah. See, so, so for him, if you look, he has like his webcam, little chat here, and then everything else is inside this window overlay, and then that way nothing gets in the way. Like webcam and all that stuff doesn't get in the way. I'm wondering if that is better. Um, just because, like, I don't just do Substance Painter, right? Like, I'm, I do modeling and Marmoset and all that stuff. Um, if I had more time, it would be good for me to get like a stream deck where I can just switch between scenes depending on which. Um, program I'm in, like if I'm in Marmoset, press a button, um, it'll move my camera somewhere else where it's a little bit more efficient. So I don't know. I, I think I might play with that idea. Um, we'll see. We'll see. So right now, I'm just going to move this over here for now um, so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing in Substance Painter. Sorry about that. I didn't, I didn't realize that um, that, that was happening. Um, that's that's my bad. Now I still don't understand why. <sighs> my brush, my brush shape is a circle. And I don't want it to be a circle. I want to be able to see the whole thing. So, hmm. Okay, so this is what I might have to do. I might have to make this like the label. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually f create a fill layer here. Um, add um, black mask. I'm gonna paint um, this section. So this is gonna be the little, hold on, where's, so this is gonna be the little, so I'm gonna, Hold on, pure ref. I don't need the height, the roughness I'll need for sure. Um, it's a little bit, it's like a sticker, right? So it's going to be a little bit shiny. So we're going to make it a little bit shiny. It's definitely not going to be metal, so that's fine. Um, sorry, ooh, that probably sounded really bad. I'm going to... Hold on. I'm just going to move this over to the other side here. Um, I'm just going to color pick the label. So it's a little bit like that. Okay. And then I'm going to paint. Uh, let's, um, let's paint this in quickly here. Um, let's see what, so this is not going to have a normal map, roughness, now what I'm noticing is that this normal is popping through to this, so I'm going to just say normal on so normal map, blending mode, I'm going to say normal, there we go. Yeah, it's just because I don't see graininess happening in the label, and so I'm just going to do that. Something like that here. Okay, so I'm just going to go. I'm just gonna see what chat's saying here. Um, there you guys go. There you guys go. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stencil in the text. I'll whip out my tablet. When it comes to like really accurate strokes, I... I will use, um, okay, so there we go, and then we're gonna, so this is the label text, little text or whatever, right, and then we're going to stencil project here, um, just going to move this in we're going to something like that right so down like that and then we're just going to hmm okay so it looks like I have to do okay this is what I have to do we'll select color range we're gonna select only the white I'm gonna invert the selection. I'm gonna fill black. There we go. Oops. What is going on here? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Why is this? What is going on here? My tablet pen is going crazy. Okay. There we go. Label. Save that. PNG. Let's go. Park that. Nope. Want substance painter. Um. Let's reload. There we go. So let's reload that. Let's put in the stencil again. And now, there we go. That's what I want. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, sorry that took a really long time to figure out. My apologies. Everything's looking pretty good now though. Okay, let's go back to brush. Let's get rid of this stencils gone rid of. Um, let's go back to brushes here. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Um, and then now I gotta find the label that I wanna put at the front there. Thank you so much, Bullrog Ninja, for the follow. Sorry, I totally missed that earlier really appreciate it david b subscribe to my youtube channel awesome 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 um okay so this is going to be a lot harder than i thought putting in i mean i have to i mean i guess i can just project right like i can project Like I can always hmm because let me hold on here let me just do a quick test right like let's say I put this Zelda one in there stout fella 
thank you so much for the follow really appreciate it i can't believe um tonight i'm pretty much almost at 50 followers already um which is huge so thank you guys all so much for it um hopefully you guys have been enjoying the stream um love to get you guys' feedback on this uh stout fella also thank you so much for bringing up that whole camera thing with substance painter um what are you guys thoughts what do you guys think about um that layout that overlay um creation i mean i mean i guess at this point it's hard for you guys to also comment on it as well until you see it in action so maybe i just need to go and do it create the overlay and then get your guys's feedback the next time you guys watch the stream um i'm pretty sure it'll be pretty quick um for you guys to be able to tell me if you like it or not um so yeah i i, I gotta figure out how i want to do that but i feel like it's probably more it'd, it'd give you a more consistent viewing um so we'll see we'll see we'll see how it goes um this label here i really want to do this label um i'm just trying to figure out okay let's just do a quick test um let's just do a quick test quick test here so let's say we have this right so we gotta grab this um everything else is gonna be sorry let's just throw this in the garbage um let's go black sure right we got this here um doing that yeah I just want to test the projection thing because right now this is throwing me for a loop okay so I just want to kind of test it out okay just for fun here um label I should probably call it front label realistically yeah I should call it front label front label painter front label cool Okay, so now if I go to here, um, let's go to painter, front label, let's throw it into here. It's going to be a texture uh, project. Okay, so now what happens if I, so if I do a projection, what is it projecting? I guess that's the, that's the real question. What is it, what is it actually projecting? No. Like, I actually don't understand that. Okay, so what happens if I go, um, let's go front label. And, um, all we need is color. So what happens if I... Right, like the it doesn't get big enough. Okay, so that's gonna be the problem. K, 
Okay, so let's go back here. Let's try and figure this out. Image size. Um, hold on. Let's go. Uh, image. Canvas. Pixels. Let's go 600. All right. Let's kill this here. And then let's just um, erase all this here. Erase all this stuff here. Okay. So let's go. Image. Image size. Let's um, bring this down to like 1024 or something. You don't need to be that big. Right? Something like that. And then let's. Uh... This is just a test. Like I said, this is totally not how we should be doing it, but I'm doing it this way for now. Should make this. There we go. Substance painter. Reload. And then reload that. And then let's go to make this bigger. Okay, so this is working out pretty decent. So you just need a really good, um, what's that called? Um, padding, right? Um, so let's go like 300. So that's when it starts to get, ooh. So something I'm noticing is, like, I have mine arcing quite a bit, whereas I'm looking at this reference now, and it definitely doesn't seem like it's arcing that much. So I might have to go back in and, and modify that in my model. Um, but I'm just going to go to my normals here, and I'm just going to go normal. Normal. And just not let this... Because this is pretty... Oh, that's why it's a fill. Mm. Okay, so if I go base color. to make it okay so okay I get I get what I have to do so for me what I have to do here is I have to make sure that this plastic grainy see this plastic grainy here I have to create a mask for it and um, just make sure that it uh, doesn't include everything for now let's just keep this the way that it is um, let me just go to front label here let's go to two to erase uh, let's not use a stencil. Um, let's just erase this here. Nice and softly. Again, this is not what you should be doing. This is me just kind of testing this out. So let's just, uh, again, because I have to re- I have to modify this. This is not, this is not, now that I'm looking at it and I'm looking at reference, like, this cartridge is definitely not... Uh, it's definitely not accurate. Um, but for now, let's just quickly throw this into uh, the scene. Um, PBR Metal Rough. PBR Metal Rough. PBR Metal Rough. 
cool. Um, let's make these Targas. Where's my Targas selection here? There we go. Let's put all that up. Oh, let's go into Marmoset. And let's uh, reapply some of this stuff here. Let's go to Cartridge. Wait, where, where did... Oh no. Where, where, <laughs> where did all that stuff get exported to? This... I need to... F okay. Let's just quickly take a look here. All of these... Put that into my drop box. All right, so SNES cartridge. So base color, throw that into the albedo. Height of the world about that metallic. Metallic is gonna be in metal. Um, do, 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 do. Metallic, invert that. Nope, that's fine. You probably don't even... Sure. Um, normal map. Throw that into here. Flip the Y. Um, and then the roughness map. Okay, so there we go. For now, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna make a note here. To um, so the few things I want to improve on for next um, for next stream. So, so okay, what I have here is I have um, check if my mic and my music volumes are good. Um, hopefully, hopefully you guys can confirm that both of those things are 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 okay. Um, how's my mic volume? How's my mic volume and uh, my music volume? Yeah, all as well as sound is concerned. Awesome, awesome, good. Um, what else is there? Um, okay, so I need to... Mic is good. It's okay at the moment. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you guys so much. Um, okay, what the hell? I lost my train of thought. Um, what is it that I need to do? I need to... Oh, I need to re um, fix the modeling on the cartridge. So hold on, I'm just... I should just... Here, I'll just show you guys. What the hell am I doing? Hold on. Um, where's my 3D to do? 3D to do. Okay, so let's see here. So I'm going to create a brand new 3D to do list. Okay, um, okay, three to do list. Um, so first thing I gotta do is I gotta remodel top of cartridge for next time. Um, that means I have to re UV it. Re UV um, top of cartridge after I do that. Um, and I'm doing all this in Blender, so that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna give Blender at least a month. I'm gonna give it a shot for at least a month if I can if I can get comfortable enough with it that I don't mind it, then I'll continue using it. 
for personal use. If I can't stand it, then I'm gonna have to suck it up and um, pay for Maya. Um, what else is there? Um, I need to at least block in textures for the controller. Okay. Um, what else is there? Um, yeah, because right now the controller has absolutely nothing on it. By the way, you can also invest in a green screen as doing an overlay. That's very, very true as well. That's very true. I can invest in a green screen. I did... Here, let me show you guys the green screen I was looking at. But it's like ridiculously expensive though. Um, plus I have a daughter and she runs around in my office a lot. Which is really scary. Um, so I was looking at this because this is really handy to have. Because you can like store it and stuff like that. Right? I was looking at this and I'm like, oh my god, man. My wife would kill me if I spent 200 something dollars on something like this. But this is... This is probably really good. One, because I can store it easily so that my daughter doesn't run around um, in my room and like knock things over and break things. Um, maybe this could be like a stretch goal or something in the future. Um, but like for right now, it just it's just way too expensive, especially if I'm just starting out right now. Um, a stream deck is also another thing that I was talking to you guys about where I can just press a button depending on what software I'm using I can just press a button and it'll change the scene for me um, so this is really handy but again $200 is really hard to justify um, especially if I'm just like having fun live streaming maybe in the future again a stretch goal or something like that but even then I'd pref I would rather invest money um, putting it back into the stream um, such as um, uh, an example would be maybe um, doing giveaways or something like that, right? I'd rather do stuff like that than spend money on a sh like stuff like this. Um, so I rather, I think for now. Okay, you know what? You just reminded me. That's what I need to do. I need to try out, out um, create overlay. Overlay. Um, create test overlay. Just call it that. So I'll do that as well. Buy a green bed sheet. Oh my god, I don't want it to be too too ghetto. <laughs> I want to try to make it look as professional as I can. Um, Green bed sheet. Wow, man, this is awesome. I can't believe um, how many people are actually here right now watching. Um, unfortunately, it's like 1 15 a.m. right now, my time. Um, so, I mean, my voice is starting to go. Um, but thank you guys all so much for coming in and watching. Um, I really hope I get to do this a lot more often, um, these evening streams. Um, I do have to wake up in about four hours um, to drive my wife to work and then I'll probably head into work early and um, work on some of this um, the overlay stuff and things like that um, yeah thank you guys so much for, for hanging out with me tonight it really means a lot um, it's way different when I have people actually here chit chatting in, um, with me while I'm working rather than me just uh, working on my own um, follow me on social media and stuff like that. That way you can know when I'm going to be streaming next. Um, I always try and stream on Wednesday nights. Um, that's like my set day for sure. Um, what else is there? Um, yeah, thank you guys all for the, for the suggestions and stuff like that. No one's going to see it though. It's a green screen. That's the point. That's true. That's true. Um, again, I'm, I'm more worried about my daughter. Um, then I am actually about the green screen and you guys seeing it. Um, but yeah, you know what? Like, let's start off with something that's free, which is me creating an overlay first to see if that's going to improve things. 
Um, and if that doesn't work, then um, then I'll look into getting um, some sort of green screen. Uh, and if it's hilarious, like it is a green blanket or something, maybe I'll do like a back behind the scenes uh, video or something like that of it. And I'll give, um, who is it that gave me that? Uh, uh, Stout fella, I'll give you the credit for um, my green screen ghetto setup if that's what this comes down to. Um, thanks man, there's a lot of videos to choose from. I'll take full advantage of that. All right, awesome dude. Thank you guys so much again. Um, and I'll see you guys again next time. All right, peace out.